Hi everyone, my name is David and with the new year, it's always good to set new goals. You know, hashtag goals, right? And with this being a music channel, I'm going to do a video on my 2018 musical goals. Let's do it. I have four musical goals for 2018. Some are extremely simple, others uh, not so much, but they all have to do with making music because that's what it's all about. Goal number one is a familiar one. In 2018, I want to make new music and share it with the world. That is my number one goal every year. And if that sounds familiar, it's because that is the advice that I give to anyone who wants to be a musician. Do you wanna know the secret of how to make good music? You start by making bad music, and then you don't quit. It's as simple as that. So yeah, goal one, make new music and share it with the world. Goal number two, well, I wanna play more instruments this year. Instruments like this one, or 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 these ones, or this one. Well, maybe not that one. It sounds terrible, but you get the idea. I have a lot of instruments, and I can play a lot of instruments, but there are so many times where I just fire up a sample library on the MIDI controller because it's easier. And don't get me wrong, I love sample libraries and soft synths, and I'll be playing a ton of those this year, but something about the production and engineering that goes into recording a real trombone or a real Japanese shamisen gives the music an authentic, unique quality that a sample library can't. So goal two is to play more instruments. Goal number three is an actual challenge. Just a few weeks ago, I released an album, Talking Leaf Music, available on Spotify and iTunes, link in description, shameless plug, and I realized something very cool. I learned how you know when you're doing something you love. You see, making an album all by yourself is hard. Even with the incredible level of technology that the modern era affords, the creative endeavor of trying to write and play every part for an album is a daunting task, not to mention the technical and administrative aspects of releasing an album. Whether that is the final mix and master, or uploading to Spotify, or filing copyright, or registering songwriting and publishing with your PRO, there's a lot of work that goes into it. But you know that you're doing something you love when you go through this long, complicated process and get to the end and you're excited. Not because it's over, but because you get to start again. And of course, in school, they tell you to make SMART goals. SMART meaning strategic, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-oriented. And I say the only thing better than doing what you love is doing more of what you love. So last year, I released an album. And this year, well, I'm gonna release two albums one in late June and one in late December. So I'll be sure to let you know when they drop, as the kids say. And that's goal number three, two albums in 2018. And goal number four is perhaps the most important. I did a holiday guitar buying guide video last month where I made a joke about how it's better to receive than it is to give. It was a funny video and the line was tongue in cheek, but it's not true. It's definitely better to give than it is to receive. And that is my fourth goal. I hope that through this YouTube channel, through my work with clients both here in the studio and over the internet, through all of my musical efforts, I am able to give as much to the musical community this year as I receive from it. Because the artist puts oil to canvas to create a painting, the writer puts words to a page to create a novel, but to create music, the musician must put rhythm and harmony to the silence to create something truly magical. And my goal this year is that we can all, as musicians, take our creations from silence to magic. So those are my four musical goals for the year. I'd love to know what yours are. Leave them below in the comments or let me know what they are on my Twitter, at TalkingLM, because one of my non-musical resolutions for this year is to figure out how social media works. And that's all for now. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.